A sellout crowd out here for night one of X Games Aspen 2024. Tough to find any standing real estate out here at Buttermilk as we welcome you to Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Super 5. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside my partner and best friend in the world, Craig <laughs> McMorris. Craig, this is the granddaddy of them all. Scotty James looking for that three-peat, six-career gold medal. Can he do it here tonight? Oh, the big fella? You think the big fella can't do it? Well, I'm here to tell you he can. One of the most technically gifted snowboarders in the Superpipe we have ever had the pleasure of seeing. That right there, a Switch McTwist. He's got a Switch McTwist pull back here tonight. He will definitely bring that out. He's done it time and time again. Can he do it once more? We just have to wait and see. Well, someone who will challenge him, his chief rival throughout his entire career, Ayumu Hirano. Ayumu Hirano has done a triple court. Yes, a triple court in almost every single super pipe run he has done thus far this year. I will bet my bottom dollar he's going to bring it out. So it's technicality versus raw triples here tonight. Scotty James, Ayumu Hirano, it doesn't get bigger than this, Brando. Well, I'm ready for a show and I hope you are too. But before we kick things off, let's head up to the third member of our team, DC. Thanks guys, uh, I am fired up for tonight. It's Friday night in Aspen, it's a party out here. We got great fans out here indeed. Do got to give you guys an update. Valentino Gaselli, definitely one of our favorites out here. The young Aussie, unfortunately, had to pull out last minute. He had a crash yesterday, was feeling good this morning, practice, had another little fall, but wasn't feeling up to competing. So he's a tough kid, and if he's going to pull out of the competition, then you know he's definitely banged up. We got Shuichiro Shigeno from Japan. He is going to be an X Games rookie, making his debut. He was the first alternate, so Shuichiro Shigeno will be seeing him out here competing tonight. Valentino, we love you, buddy. Get well soon, but let's get this party started out here under the lights. Men's Snowboard Super Pipe coming your way. And there's a look at the greatest Super Pipe in the world and who will be attacking it. Take a look at this roster. Obviously some young talent here, but as we talked about off the top partner, all eyes on Scotty James versus Ayumu Hirano. That's a matchup and uh, I'm fired up, Brando. There's no better pageantry in snowboarding than the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Super Pipe here at X Games Aspen, and it starts right now. So we're ready to set it off with Kaishu Hirano. 21 years old, a bronze medal back in X Games Aspen 2022, his lone medal in his two previous appearances. Brandon, I'm scared. I'm going to be honest with you right now. The That's reason okay. I'm scared is because here. Kaishu Hirano takes so much speed into this 22 foot super pipe, and he goes bigger than almost anybody on earth. What a better time to go bigger than anybody on earth. Under the lights, Friday night. Hang on to the football, Kaishu. And we're off. Oh my what? good word. Okay. Biggest McTwist ever into the front side, 1440. Cap 10, front 12. He's on one. And a backside 900, we know he probably has a little bit more juice on that, but that frontside invert, you can't add any more juice to that. That's dripped up. But wow. that 15-footer right out the gate on the first wall. Take another look, Craiger. Kaichirano, Mickey, 15 feet above a 22-foot super pipe. I am, uh, I, gotta, I gotta pace myself here because that was absolute heat of a run. Lots to love in there. Here's the backside 900 right at the bottom. I think he might want to bump that up to a backside 1260, but I love that frontside invert. You know, Craig, the crazy right part on the, right up top. Sorry, is Brando. no problem. The, really, the only making his competition presence felt the last couple of seasons. But when you see runs like that and the natural talent, you know he's going to be a podium threat for a long time. For sure. Facts, facts, facts. So Kaishu's score coming in at a 72.66. 
And we move on to a familiar name, Yuto Tatsuka. Five X Games appearances, four medals, including a gold medal in this event back in 2021, Craig. Kaishu has that, or sorry, Yuto has that technicality. He's got the 1260s, he's got the 1440s. Here he opts for a switch backside 900 to kick off his 2024 X Games campaign. I don't know how he does that. It looked like he landed that switch backside nine not as high up as he wanted to, but still generates so much speed. Yuto Tatsuka going down, though, on his third hit. Don't fret, folks. It's just one of three. All these riders get three full runs. Best run counts. And Yuto really made a name for himself right out the gate. Very first X Games we ever saw him at back in 2019 took a silver medal. Now trying to get back on the podium for the first time since 2021. So Utah will look to clean things up on run number two. And we are so happy to welcome this guy back, Chase Josie. He's making his seventh X Games appearance, but really his first one since 2020, Craig. So it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Notice Chase Josie dropping in switch. That's his unnatural way of riding. Very, very difficult <laughs> nah, to carry that much baby. He's going crazy right now. I like Moses' message. That's great. Cap nine, switch back nine. Double alley oop. Holy smokes! Double alley oop. Ten? Chase Josie, where did that come from? I love so much in this run, okay? <laughs> it's almost entirely done switch, which is so difficult, right? It's one thing to do your, you know, your cap 10 and land regular and right. continue on. Chase Josie maintains that switch stance through almost the entirety of his yep. run. And then that double alley of 1080, I really want to see him put that down. Very tough though to stay high on the wall with that alley of rotation, Chase. spinning up away from the a regular slope. footed rider, but as you said, switch riding almost primarily with that right foot forward. Ayumu Hirano making his ninth X Games appearance. Four medals, two golds. But really, Craig, the finishes are not indicative of the generational talent Ayumu possesses. Facts. Right, I'm just curious how he constructs this thing. Does he put the triple right up top? We've seen it before. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> well, run one, night one, X Games Aspen 2024, why not? We know his intentions. Yes. And his intentions <laughs> are to drop. What are your intentions <laughs> with my pipe, Ayumu? <laughs> Ayumu Rano, frontside triple on that first hit. And as I mentioned, three, ri three runs for these riders. Let's take a look at what happens here. Incredible takeoff, so high above, grabbing truck driver. That's that front and backhand grabbing the heel side and toe side, respectively. So Ayumu coming out swinging on run number one. You can be sure he's got more in store the rest of the way here in this contest. We were so excited to get this thing started, Craig. We forgot to tell you those watching at home what's at stake and how we're gonna get to where we're gonna get. A look at our comp format, we've got eight snowboarders, three runs each, the best single run counts. What that means, Ayumu can throw that run away, not think about it, he's got two more chances at that super pipe. The judges wanna see you go big, they wanna see you do very difficult tricks and they wanna see you make it look easy. And that's what this field's going to do here tonight, Brando. So here's Ruka Hirano, 21 years old, earned a bronze in his X Games debut back in 2021. Hasn't touched the podium since then. Does that change here tonight? Now, Brando, we were watching uh, practice with Eddie Wall. He informed us Ruka went down very hard, had to tape up that ankle. It looked like he could barely walk, but when he strapped into his snowboard, it does not look like it is giving him any trouble whatsoever. Frontside 1440, great landing, still has some speed. 
What an angle. Look at how high he's going on that cab 10. Does he go front 12? Yes, he does. Ruka Hirana, I think your ankle's fine. <laughs> Holy smokes. Take the boot off. Let's prove, <laughs> prove to us that you are injured because it didn't look like that on that run. Ruka Hirano, my goodness, Craig. I don't think you can execute a frontside 1440 better than that. Yeah, we've looked into it. Yeah, I was talking to some folks. <laughs> Case is close. Yeah, we're gonna shut the book on this one. Here's a look at the cab or the front side 1260. One rotation less, one half rotation less than that 1440. Can you land any better than that? I don't think you can. This crowd in Aspen absolutely loving it from Ruka. Dude is just floating. Uh, yeah. 83.33 for Ruka Arano taking over first place. So here's our alternate that took over for Valentino, Shuchiro Shigano, 18 years old, X Games rookie. Craig, he literally found out, I don't know, four and a half minutes ago that he was in this contest? We are at the base of the pipe. Valentino was doing practice. He couldn't compete. A text was sent, and Shuchiro is up at the top. Looking like a Globo Gym purple viper. <laughs> Blade. Laser. Blazer. What a kick. <laughs> Frontside 1440, okay. he's not phased. Beautiful cab double 10 right there. Frontside 900, X Games rookie, so much pressure, but he seems to be able to just throw that out the window, that back double 12. And then another frontside 1440. Oh my goodness. Again, Shuichiro is in X Games mode in his X Games debut. In a contest, he found out he was riding, I don't know, when we started the show. Unbelievable. I love this back double 12 with the melon grab. So much patience on the takeoff, so hard not to go early. The only thing I take away is he does do two frontside 1440s, which are the same trick. Yes, he does a different grab on them, I hear you. I hear you, but it's still <laughs> respectively the same is what trick. it is. So I don't know if he's gonna jump into that one or two spot. And how many riders can pull off that shade of purple? Very few. A 71, so that puts him into the top three after his first run. Our silver medalist from last year dropping in now for his seventh X Games appearance, owner of two X Games medals, Jan Scherer. This is Always look forward to X Games Aspen every year, best event. Yeah, Cosign. Jan Scherer starting things off with that switch. Double 10 into the front, double 10, so mirroring those two tricks. Kind of lost them in the night, in the night sky there. <laughs> I didn't lose that air to Fakie though. That was very, very well done. Switch. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? Yawn. I need another look at that. I think I need a seat. Switch double rodeo nine or 10. I Lost him on the landing there, but he started his run switch with beautiful cab double 10. Mirrors that with the front double 10, right? The exact same trick, just taking off switch, landing regular, and taking off regular, landing switch. I love this air to fakie. Let's have a look at this here. Switch double rodeo nine. Switch double rodeo nine from Yansh here. How he hung on to that in the landing was <laughs> a truly a thing of beauty. Oh, oh wild ride, Mr. Scherer. So no. Ruka Hirano leading this thing. So I just talked to you, I'm sure. He did not do that double 
that uh, switch double alley-oop rodeo nine in practice. Wow. So where do the judges put that one? That was crazy. Well, it's super unique. It was super different. That was a trick we have not seen thus far tonight. A 72 for Jan, putting him up into third place. You can hear him. I just chatted to him while he was waiting for his score. He said it wasn't his night thus far, but maybe that's a momentum. Maybe he puts one down and goes in. Eight X Games medals. Going for a three-peat. The last guy to do that in this event, by the way, Sean White. I heard of him. This may be a flaming hot take alert I'm about to give. <laughs> but for my have. money, <laughs> I don't believe that man there you see with the boxing mitts on. There is no other more talented, more technical, more hardworking rider we've ever seen in the history of this discipline than Scotty James. The two words I love are hardworking. That's the only way you can get a trick like this. Switch big twist and says, no, I'm bringing it back to regular. Backside 1260, front side 1440, count it. Hang on to it there, Scott. Beautiful cap nine. And watch this switch back 12, get going. No, switch back 10 holds it. Just like that switch McTwist, he pulled it back. I thought he was going switch back 12, puts down the switch back 10. Holy smokes. What wizardry from Scotty James on run number one. The big fella. Switch McTwist says not. Nah, let's put the left foot down and continue my run in the regular stance. He says, you think you know me? You don't know me. You don't know me. The Thayer's hype meter is hitting unreal levels out here tonight off of Scotty James's first run. Switch backside 1260. Nope, switch backside double 10. He faked out the entire world. What a first run from Scotty James. Seemingly picking up where he left off last year and really every year here at X Games. An 88 for Scotty James. He takes over first place. Things you love to see. Oh, what an opening first run out here in the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Super Pipe. Let's head over to Kristen B. Guys, I am so lucky I'm hanging out here in XIP. That's VIP at X Games. And I'm in the St. Hubert's The Stag Lounge. There's fans, plenty of music, and it's probably the best seat in the house. If I'm not reporting sideline, this is where I want to be to watch the men's snowboard superpipe event. You know what I'm looking forward to though? Those epic X Games celebrations. Let's hand out some medals. Cheers, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for run number one. Don't go anywhere. What an exciting, what we just saw from Scotty James. We'll be right back right after this. That was a good one. Yeah, I think that we like really that. Fun. Yeah. Are we still on? I think so. Oh. Oh my. Oh my goodness. We're brought to you commercial free. No we commercials. We keep going. We're not <laughs> stopping, baby. Not now. Too much going on here in the Monster Energy Men Snowboard Superpipe. Now being brought to you commercial free as we bring you run number two. Bonus snowboarding. We all win, Craig. Everybody wins. Also, maybe you might have lost watching us try to act that out. But uh, other than that, everybody wins. My method, you know that. <laughs> Hirano Brothers, must see TV. Hashtag X Games. Yes, Michael Beasley, MD. Oh, we got a doctor watching. I thought that was the other Michael Beasley. So here's <laughs> Kaishu Hirano. I know it's a little confusing because you see Hirano Hirano there. But it's Kaishu sitting in that third place spot with that 72.66. Kaishu, of course, the younger brother of Ayumu. Men's snowboard superpipe is absolutely throwing down tonight. It's prime time. Will Ayumu Hirano stop the triple? That was a filthy McTwist. 
into a beautiful frontside 1440. Here's the cap 10, landing a little low, but look at that save, the athleticism that is required. Does he add something to this? Oh, yep. Okay. Backside 1260, Kai Shu, get out of his way, because he's mad. He's furious. <laughs> Kaishu Hirano putting a little something on it. Extra, on run number two. Extra sauce on that. Does so well throughout the entirety of this run to save it. There was a couple very low landings. What I mean by that, he's not landing at the top. That's a high impact zone. That doesn't affect Kaishu. He is so, so strong. Look at how low he lands on that. He says it don't matter. I still got the backside 1260, already stepping up his run from the previous. I think he's going to get a much higher score. So trying to knock out that 72.66. He does just that. An 86.33 jumping Kaishu up in the second. Wow. And the stakes just raising after Scotty James, what he put down on run number one. Hopefully it's a preview of what we're going to see the rest of the way here now. Yuto Tatsuka. A gold and two silvers in the discipline. Dropping in switch. Turn things off that switch. Back nine. Beautiful frontside 1260. Three and a half full times into the back 12. What does he add here? Frontside 14, he's got to go. So Yuto Tatsuka is building something. He's cooking. Let him cook. It just didn't feel like he kind of had that momentum on the way down. Right? Very difficult tricks up top. Switch the switch. But he just didn't have that, you know, authoritative landing. Mm. And, and especially on that takeoff on the front side, 14-40. So Yuto will look to put together what could be on that third and final run. Chase Josie out of Sun Valley, Idaho. Never seen a super pipe lineup this stacked. Yeah, William Real. And they're bringing the goods out here tonight. Chase Josie, can he put down a full pull? Cap nine. I cannot express to you how difficult that is. Switch backside nine. So back to back switch nines and also landing switch. And that cap 1080. Just hangs up a little bit. See that blue paint at the top? You want to land as close to that inside of the pipe to make your landing smooth to generate speed. But if you land even an inch to the left of that, you're going to have a bad time. He's been so close, Chase Josie. He actually has had four consecutive fourth place finishes. So he's had a taste of that podium before. Can he get back there? Now all eyes on Ayumu Hirano, who came out swinging on run number one. And we've seen this before from Ayumu. Ayumu, excuse me. There are no safety runs. Nope. I'm going to do what I came here to do. Get rich or die trying. <laughs> Except Ayumu's firing shots out here. <laughs> so here's run number two for Ayumu Hirano. Watch this frontside triple truck driver. Into the cab 14, aye, are you kidding aye, me? We aye. have seen him do, just as you mentioned, there are no safety runs for Ayumu. We have seen him this season do the triple, and he'll usually do a cab 1080 after that. We have very rarely seen him do the cab triple into a cab, sorry, a front triple into a cab 1440. Ayumu is building what could be a gold medal run here. Let's take a look at this cab triple. Truck driver grabbing both hands all the way around. Look at how early he finishes it too. Here's the cap, 1440. Let's take a look at the landing here. Oh, you can just see the nose of his snowboard touch. Touch that. Yeah, Craig and I wanted it. I don't think I wanted anything more in my life right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're a simple man, Craig. You don't. You have very few requests. Yeah, just back-to-back 1440s. Probably the hardest thing you can do. So Ruka Hirano, who got bumped into that bronze medal spot, sitting in third place here in the midst of run two of the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Superpipe, being brought to you commercial free. Kind of like what Ruka is doing. Take a moment before you drop in. Take a deep breath. Dropping in switch. Switch backside 1080 to start off this campaign right here. A little backside 1260. And there's the front side 1440. There's the cap 10. What does he cap things off? I'm thinking front 12. And I'm thinking oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ruka going yard. Ruka Hirano quietly building an absolute heater. We mentioned that ankle injury he's dealing with does not seem to be affecting him because he's just gone two for two. Put me in, coach, he says. Where does this compare to Scotty James's run, you ask? Great question. No he one does. better at answering his own <laughs> questions than Craig McMorris. He does have the switch back double 10, True. right? We saw yes. Scotty do yes. that as well. The only thing that I could take away from this Here run we go. What is, it? is the multiple front side rotations on that rider's right wall, right? Front side 1440, front side 12. As, you know, it's almost back to back tricks. Obviously, there was one on the other wall in between that. But that's the only thing I could take away from it. Amazing fans out here tonight loving every single run we're seeing in the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Superpipe. And his score comes in at an 87. So he jumps up into second place, Craig. Don't want to say I told you so. You would never. I would never. I'm too humble. <laughs> wow. Ruka Hirano simply put is on one this evening. Shuichi Roshigeno, again, just finding out moments before this contest that he was going to be a participant in this contest and looked really good on his first run. He's sitting in fifth place, Craig. And I think that maybe lack of contest wherewithal <laughs> is what caused him to do the frontside 1440, air the rider's left wall, and then do another frontside 1440, right? Yeah. You don't want to mimic tricks. You don't want to do the same trick. You've got to do some different stuff. So. Hopefully, he's got some time now. Shigano can, can mix Put up his run a little bit. Because yes. he really had to go hurry up offense. We cannot stress to you how late he found out he was running in this event. There's a front side 1260. Back side 12. What does he have on this final? Hey, okay, goes front side 1440 again. <laughs> Are you not entertained, Aspen? <laughs> He's having fun. Shigeno, let's take another look. Another that fantastic was, run. Absolutely. That was a cap 10 right there. He's got the tricks. There's a look at that backside 1260, setting him up for his final hit. The front side 1440 tail grab. Great look at it. Look at the patience. He really gets going before he grabs his snowboard and really gets going after that. But he gets a 1440 around. Just 18 years old, making his X Games debut. Had a 71 on his first run. Wow, an 80.66. So a huge score improvement. Jumping him up one spot into fourth place. So here's Jan Schur sitting in fifth, put down that 72. And if you're just joining us, we're commercial free here at the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Superpipe. And if you're just joining us, you have missed some heat. Scotty James currently holding that number one spot. 
After him, Ruka Hirano, and following him, Kaishu Hirano. In the pipe now, Jan Scherer. Beautiful cab, double 10. And he's switching things up with the front side 1260, but a very, very tough landing. We're gonna take a look at that second hit, that second hit landing, and I'm gonna show you why. Yes, he still rides away. Yes, he has that base down, but you cannot land that deep and still carry speed into the next wall. It's physics, really. It's just science, it's my life. We're not gonna show you that, but I just explained it, so it's fine. So that'll do it for Jan Scherer's second run. Well, Scotty James is an X Games podium regular in the Super Pipe. Let's check in with him in this Discover More, brought to you by Pacifico. So here now, our defending gold medalist here in the Monster Energy Super Pipe, Scotty James. How am I going to win Super Pipe? Well, it's a very good field, very stacked field. There's some incredible talent. The Japanese, of course, have always been really good. US, Switzerland. And for me to win, I just got to do what I love, which is riding the half pipe. The way I interpret progression is the way I snowboard right now, riding switch, you know, doing switch McTwist pullback, switch backside spinning, and still doing some triples and frontside spinning as well. But I think uh, I've always really felt like I've done well when I really listen to myself and what I think the progression is to obviously win an event and see how it goes from there. Uh, yeah, I'll have to obviously bring my best as I do any other year at X Games because it's a, it's a really good event. And I look forward to being a part of it. Now, Scotty James, obviously in familiar territory, sitting in first place. He's got that score of an 88. Hirano, though, right behind him with an 87. And of course, Ayumu Hirano, if he can stick his run, that can really shake things up. So Scotty cannot afford to take anything off here. No, right? no. The rear view mirror is very congested right now for Scotty James. But like a spaceship, I don't think Scotty James has a rear view mirror because he doesn't look back, he only looks forward. He builds his run with this in mind. He's got one down, he's gonna add to it. Switch McTwist, bring it back. Jeez. That is so hard. Back 12 double, front side 1440, gets it. Beautiful cab nine, does he go switch back 12 this one? That he does. I have the switch back 10. I have the switch back 12. We are stocked. What do you want? Scotty James has every trick and he can do it on command. Why? You mentioned it at his first run, the work. Scotty James puts in the work. This is absolutely silly. I want that poster. Wow. The way he brings that back, all your body, all your momentum wants to go to switch. He says, no, I'm going to regular. Oh, there's hype meter coming out once again. Is that no real? No surprise there. Even the way he does the cap nine, right? Maybe a little bit of a simpler trick in his run. He does it perfect. He holds the grab the entire way around. He lands so high. And then the switch back 12. Last run, he did a switch back 10. Here he says, you know what? I'll add another 180 to it. A 93 for Scotty James. I don't know what's above first place, but he's achieved it. Two runs in, and it's Scotty James leading the way. Who wins gold? Find out when we return. X Games Aspen has been brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. And Mobile X, made for you by you. A beautiful night for snowboarding, skiing, anything you can think of here at X Games Aspen. There's a beautiful look at our Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Superpipe. We're two runs in, getting ready for third and final runs. But before we do that, let's head back upstairs to Kristen B. 
Thanks for checking back in, guys. I am here in the St. Hubert's The Stag Lounge, and I cannot wait to see which athletes are awarded Friday's St. Hubert's The Stag Celebratory Moments. And the icing on the cake on Sunday, St. Hubert's The Stag will be awarding the best in snow. So make sure you tune in all weekend long on ESPN to see who takes home the medals. It's always prime time. It's always under the lights. It's always the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Superpipe. And Craig, Scotty James seemingly doing what Scotty James does, outdoing himself on run number two, distancing himself from the field. And this crowd is absolutely hyped as we get ready for final runs. How could you not be entertained? We have seen 15 foot McTwist, 1440s. We've seen a triple court. We've seen it all. So here's and we still have one more run to go, Brando. Kaishu Hirano, the 21 year old, has been sensational. Currently in a podium spot. But nothing is safe as we get into the third and final runs here. Look at him trying to milk every ounce of speed out of that drop in. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Uh, <laughs> 22! So I'm gonna give him 23. Somebody call air traffic control. He was absolutely in the flight path. So that's a, this smoke. is a 22 foot wall, high wall, Craig. Yes. And how high did he go above that wall? I'm gonna say 23 feet. I'm gonna round up to 23 feet. Kaishu Hirano. You could tell when he was pumping for every ounce of speed for that first hit. Look at this. Oh, the Thayer's height meter, are you kidding me? I didn't even know we had cameras high enough to catch this. And what you have to realize, you have to be so strong, you have to be so composed going that fast at a vertical wall. Yeah, look at us. I was, I was scared. I was frightened, as you could tell. So Kaishu Hirano kind of making the decision. He said, you know what, I think I did my best run I'm going to do tonight. Let's put on a show for the fans, and what a show that was. <laughs> yeah, ground control to Hirano. What is up? We're right next to uh, the Aspen Airport. So that was a very apt joke. I, I, I would commend you on it. So Kaishu will uh, now have to sit and wait in that third, third place spot. Does he take home a bronze medal? We will find out. But we all won with the amplitude there. <laughs> we all win. So here's Yuto Tatsuka, still looking for that big signature run we've come to expect from him. Here's he's, been, he's been building all night, has just yet to put it down. Oh, whoa. that would have been a switchback nine into a cab 1440. Cab 1440, four full times round from Yuto Tatsuka. So Kaishu Hirano can breathe a sigh of relief because Yuto was definitely a threat for that box. So Yuto Tatsuka surprisingly unable to put a run down here tonight in the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Superpipe. Certainly frustrated, but the show must go on. So here's Chase Josie. Again, the first time we've seen him here in Aspen since 2020 in his seventh X Games appearance. He's got a ton of fourth place finishes as of recently. Can he put something together and knock on podium's door? Whoa, cab 1260, are you serious? We've seen him do back-to-back -back switch nines. We saw him do the cab nine and the switch back nine. How do you improve upon that? Well, add another 360 to that first hit, attempting the cab 1260, taking off switch, landing switch on that first hit. Uh, very tough. Yeah, the math wasn't mathing there. No. Let's take a look at what goes wrong here on this cab 1260. He kind of switches grab there, that front side grab into the melon. Has a look at the lip and kind of sees he's close. What air awareness from Chase Josie to make Get out of that safe. So that'll do it for Chase Josie. Hey, let's get a course report.
from DC. DC, what do you got? Yeah, guys, just a testament to how in tune Scotty James is to his, his equipment and how precise he is. On that first run, on that front 14 combo into where normally throws the switchback 12, we saw him throw the switchback 10. Craig, you were like, oh, switching it up a little bit. He broke his board, he felt it break on the landing of that front 14, and he still went into that next hit switch with that switch back 10. The dude's insane, still put down an amazing run. Of course he had a backup board, so he's on a freshie and he's crushing it. This is amazing. Love these fans too, back to you guys. Yeah, and the fans love you, clearly oh, DC. <laughs> Quite handsy tonight. So Ayumu Hirano. We expected him to be battling with Scotty all night long, but you know what? The beauty of this format, partner, all you need is one. Did Ayumu save his best for last? It all comes down to this for Ayumu Hirano if he wants a chance at a medal. That could have been absolute disaster. But the air awareness from Ayumu Hirano to save that, and that air to Fakey. Again, we all win. That was beautiful. But that front side triple cork, it gave him a problem in run one. He got in run two, and here in run three, almost hangs up. You know, and this is something we have seen throughout his X Games and certainly competitive career. As we said, there are no safety runs. He's going to do what he sets out to do. And sometimes that means a sixth place finish or a ninth place finish. You're not first, you're last. So that'll do it for Ayumu Hirano. But here now, Ruka Hirano sitting in that silver medal spot. Six points separated between he and Scotty. Taking off this first hit, switch backside, 1080 miles above that super pipe. Oh, he was trying to mirror a switch back 12 or switch back 12 to a back 12. That would be absolutely ridiculous if he could put those back together. Just the tone of your voice, it sounded like that was an asinine concept, too. Like, it, why well, would you even... It's just Who silly. would even ponder doing this is such ridiculous. a thing? Well, it is ridiculous. I have to catch myself, because what we're watching is just the hardest possible tricks you can do, and not only doing them, you know, on your final hit, throwing up a prayer. These Where's, riders are doing them back to back. Where is Scotty? Where is Scotty? Oh, okay. I think... Okay. There are other people there. Thought he was lost. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, there's new new, new Q lines Scott, this year at X Games Hasman. <laughs> God forbid he forgets his credential. <laughs> so here's Shigano again. Just got the call moments before from the pen. The manager slapping the arm, saying, "Hey, you're in, bud." And he's sitting in fourth place, Craig. Could you imagine four minutes before the contest starts? Hey, you're in, and now you're sitting in fourth place? Life is so crazy. It do be crazy. So Shigeno sitting in fourth place. His last chance to potentially poach a podium spot. Can he do it? Frontside 1440s, had that on lock all night. And there's the frontside 1260. Three and a half full times round, beautiful McTwist. And then another frontside 1440. The reason I said he's had it on lock is because he's done two per run. He's done three runs. That's six 1440s if my quick math is correct. Gregor, he's playing. Unorthodox, <laughs> if I could say the least. He's playing with house money, though. This is amazing. That's true, that's true. Three consecutive awesome runs from the rookie, just 18 years old. Just a little bit of a tail grab there on that front side 1260, landing a little low, but spent some time in the gym.
saw a little bit of everything from his riding here tonight. A 72 for Shigano. So he'll hold on to that 80.66 in fourth place is where he will stay. So two riders left to drop in. Hey, look, look who's presenting the gold medal. Our partner, Tora Bright. And she's got her little one with her too. How fitting would it be, I don't want to get ahead of myself, if Scotty does win and she puts that gold medal around his neck? The ties. But there's, we still have one left to go, Brando. There's one guy left who can crash this podium and potentially give Scotty James a run for his money. His name is Jan Scherer. He's sitting in fifth place. Would need to best an 86.33, Craig to get into podium position. I talked to him after his first run, said, you know what, tonight practice has not been his night. But watching him in that first run and watching him right here, he's putting something together right now. Look at that beautiful backside double shifty nine in there. Watch this there to Fakey. Does he go switch double alley -oop? rodeo nine? One, two, get going, Yacht. Oh. Oh, such a difficult trick, Craig. And he goes down and, gosh, he was on one. Heading into that X Games medical quickly on the scene to assess, but where did it look like it went wrong for him? Well, in the first run when he did that trick, and the nature of that trick pushes you inside the pipe, right? Yep. It's an alley-oop rotation. So your natural way of riding, right? He's riding up with his right foot forward. You want to spin down the pipe. With the alley-oop, he spins up the pipe. Then he does a double rodeo, right? So two flips right there. All that pushes you into the pipe. And on his first run, he landed very deep. Here, he lands even deeper than that, that causing that impact there for Jan Scherer. But my goodness, he was on one. So if you're just joining us, Jan Scher with a difficult fall there on his third and final run in the Monster Energy Men's Snowboard Super Pipe. And it all but ensures Scotty James another gold medal, but um, just an incredible performance from this field when you think about the influx of young talent, some of the veterans we've seen over the years really putting on a show here tonight. As I mentioned, Jan Schur, asked, after I talked to him, he said it just wasn't really his night. But then you watch him build this run. He's got momentum. He does that 1260. We know he's got that switch double alley-oop rodeo nine that he was going to put down at the bottom there. And that is what, unfortunately, took him down, landing very deep, very high impact zone. So Jan Schur, as you mentioned, getting looked over by X Games Medical. I'd love to bring in host Salema Masakela, who I know is watching from the host set. Salema, just your thoughts so far as uh, we're wrapping things up here in the Monster Energy Men Snowboard Superpipe. You know, it's uh, it's that double mixed emotion, right, that we always have at events like this because the level is so high. So, you know, we, we, we just get so thrilled with that moment of the 22-foot backside air uh, from the younger Hirano, and then you see that moment with Jan Scheer, and it makes you remember that as much fun and as stoked as we get, these athletes at this level now, it is it is a life risking uh, sport. Yeah, that, that's that. really what Superpipe has become. Scotty James was talking about it in the press in the, the press conference earlier in the week, where he just was like, "Hey, every time we go up there, the fear is there. It's something that we have to put to the side, but it's also the acceptable risk for that feeling of how good it feels, the euphoria when you are able to land the run." And right now. Uh, we're taking a look at Jan Shira, who is being assisted. It looks like he is uh, just favoring his right leg. His left, his left leg uh, is not touching the ground. So obviously, we won't speculate too much. But good to see him uh, having his wits about him. And of course, our, our medical staff being able to attend to him. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, like this is kind
kind of where we're at now. And Scotty really put it in, in, in such good fashion. He just was like, every time I, I am there at the top of the pipe, it is something that I know can take place. We all know it. But it's, it is that pursuit, that overriding the fear in your mind because of that euphoria you get from being able to do something that your body and your mind tells you naturally you're not supposed to do. And that's what makes these athletes so special. And we're stoked uh, that Jan looks like he's going to be OK. Yeah, it was good to see him get there. And he gave some uh, applause from the crowd. And he put his hands up. So good to see him there. But now we turn our attention to Scotty James. Of course, a bit of a bittersweet victory lap for him here after Jan Scherer goes down hard. but. For Scotty James, he just keeps winning. This is a sixth career X Games gold medal. Now number nine total. And he has completed a three-peat here in this event. The first to do it since Sean White. White. Jinx. <laughs> and again, we all win. A Scotty James victory lap will be drenched in style. You know, I'm just thinking about it over all these years, Craig. How many times have we said, and now it's time for a Scotty James victory lap? A lot. I don't even want to try and guess, honestly, because we've said it so many times. I would say most of his six gold medals, it's come to this, and we also have seen him do this. Because that's the thing with Scotty. When Scotty's on, it's coming in the first and second run, right? He's not making mistakes and then figuring it out through the contest. He shows up to X Games the best version of himself. Again, he makes it look so easy, so polished, so clean, that you forget that few work as hard as him in all of snowboarding. So there is our podium. Kaishu and Ruka taking bronze and silver, respectively. But it's Scotty James winning his third consecutive X Games gold medal. And how did he get there, Craig? Let's take another look. Switch McTwist pulls it back. With that beautiful cab 900 and then sets up for his first run. He does a switch back double 10. His second, he improves upon that with a switch back double 12. There you see it. Lands high, hands above the snow. Nothing better than that here tonight. Scotty went the distance, first place, and never looked back, only upping the score on run number two, and there's Tora Bright giving him the gold, Craig. Scotty James used to fly over to Aspen and watch Tora Bright win gold medals. Guess what? Tora Bright is now giving him one. What a story. Another one for Scotty James. <laughs> Let's head down to D.C. Scotty James, congratulations, man. Definitely enjoying getting used to these interviews with you. <laughs> three-peat out here. The only other athlete to get a three-peat in the super pipe, Mr. Sean White. So congrats on tying him on that one. And yeah, six X Games gold, ninth X Games medal. What do you got to say for yourself? Uh, well, firstly, thank you, Aspen. Absolutely amazing event. It was so great to ride in front of everyone tonight. And uh, I have to say, I don't get used to doing this interview with you because they're very hard to come by these days. So I'm really stoked. And, um, you know, I just uh, feel like a little kid again riding. And, um, you know, that's, I guess, showing through, which has been really fun. And I'm enjoying snowboarding so much. And uh, to do it here at X Games tonight is special. And to join that uh, record with Sean is, uh, is pretty nice. So cool. Well, Scotty, it's an absolute pleasure watch you do your thing. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone. Everyone back in Australia watching around the world. Thank you for tuning in. No one better than Scotty James winning gold. Let's head over to Salema at the host set. Thanks, boys. Well, when we, when we began the night, we promised you star power under the lights on a Friday night, and that is what we got. Uh, the modesty of a Scotty James, and as you heard Craig McMorris say, it, it, it literally is, is because he is the hardest working man in that Superbike. Congratulations to him, as well as to Chloe Kim uh, with her return after two years. Troy Podnilsack, uh, the rookie, Liam Brearley. Uh, just, just a really, really magic night of, of powerful stories. I mean, 
We saw Troy Podmosak with this triple cork 1260. Liam Brearley coming out of nowhere, a last minute invite in the knuckle huck. And then, of course, at the end of the day, the man with the red gloves of destruction, Scotty James, now earning that three peat halfway to Sean White's six peat. Remember, Sean White with the three peat and then said, you know what, let me just run it up to six. We're not done. We got plenty more star power tomorrow on, on ABC. Make sure you join us. Alex Hall in Slope Style. That's at 1230 Eastern on ABC. Uh, Alex probably still stinging from that silver medal uh, in Big Air. And Mark McMorris coming through as the, the stinger in the yellow and black looking for his three, three peat in slope style. And then Eileen Gu looking for another gold medal. That'll be on ESPN at 10 Eastern. So nothing but good times tomorrow and lots more star power. Make sure you tune in uh, and join us on ESPN and ABC. My name is Salema Masakela and that is a wrap for us on night one. The greatest place in action sports competition, X Games, baby. We'll see you tomorrow.